Yes, talking the dark arts and scrums with King's College London Rugby Club here with two front rows and Benno Urbano. And we know from yesterday's game, England, South Africa, the game still revolves in the life of the game around the scrum. So if you two, if you two front rows just get on your knees, we'll allow Benno to come in and discuss the rudimentary basics and what the loose head and the tight head are trying to achieve to get one up on each other. Well, the scrum is essentially a restart of the game. It's supposed to be one team pushes one team backwards or it's quite stable. It's supposed to be a competition, but, you know, referees change that for us. Um, so now we have to adapt to what referees think is going on. And understandably, when, when we bind up, so guys bind for me, um, when we bind up, there become seams available. So, like, people are strong individually, but now there are seams and there are places to attack. So if we go crouch, when we go to crouch here, what the loose head is trying to do is put pressure for his neck onto the tight head and get him to move his shape and make him uncomfortable. What the tight head is trying to do on bind is try and move the loose head and make him unstable because obviously the loose head has to move his left foot back and if one foot's out of the ground, the more unstable it is, set. And then the more we look at this, so this person, once they're in good shape, they're pretty strong. It's pretty tough to move people, but we have space here. There's space everywhere around the scrum and so, the tight end can move in here and put pressure on the hooker and try and change him. But the most important thing for the loose head here is to try and lift this tight head. Try and get him into like a prawn shape. And what the tight head's trying to do is push the loose head down. That's not really the way we're meant to scrummage, Nick. But what's happened is people get penalties that way and that moves teams up the field. Excellent stuff. Is there anything in terms of, without giving your trade secrets away, of course, because we know there's trickery that goes on in the front row, um, anything in terms of your process as a loose head that you look to try and attempt and get, uh, get an advantage on the tight head? Yeah, so obviously, as I spoke, with the neck break, um, as I spoke, with the neck, it's, it's time to put pressure on the tight head as much as possible. And with the bind, and because he's attacking the inside shoulder of the loose head, this right shoulder with his head, what we're trying to do, what we're trying to do, get set, and what we're trying to do is push this right shoulder down. So it makes him uncomfortable because your body follows where your head goes. So if your head's going down, the body's going to go down. And individuals are different sizes. Clearly, you've got your process and you want to play to your strengths. Any differences if you come against, because you've got a big, tall man here, if you come against a taller tight head, for example, or a shorter tight head, do you just follow the same process or do you, do you have a few little tricks that are obviously going to give you the advantage with a bigger man? Yeah, obviously, I'm not going to snitch on myself, but this is general. <laughs> and what generally happens is the bigger the tight head, the taller the tight head, we close the gap. So let's close the gap for us and go and set. So, like, as we close the gap, stay in this position, the tight head has to round while the loose head can get into shape quicker because your taller is harder to get there. But if we go bigger, break and go bigger. If we go bigger, OK, crouch, bind, set the tight head can get his chest down the bigger the gap is because there's more space for him. And you don't want a big, heavy Antonio dropping all his chest on you because it's not a comfortable place to be. You want to try and take him out of shape. Exactly, before we get to the set. Brilliant stuff. Well, there's probably another hundred more things we could discuss as far as the scrum's concerned, but those are the very basic things that uh, Lou said and the tight head are trying to achieve. But there is no doubt in a physical game, this is the most brutal physical position and you're not going to get many results without getting this part right. Thanks very much.